All right. So we are continuing on LWC development. And on this particular trail, use Lightning Data Service to work with data. So we have quite some reading material, but I'm going to skip this for now. We will go back to this part later on um, as I want to be hands on before we discuss about this. Let's deploy those codes first and then talk about the line by line um, interpretation. So let's go right ahead to deploy a lightning web component that creates accounts. So to do this, you have to create your own new Trailhead Playground. So scroll back up and go to that, hands-on org. So create a new one, which I already did, this one LWC data. So once you've created that, you can launch that and you want to reset your password so that you know your password so you can deploy using Visual Code Studio. To do that, get your login credentials here, click on that tab and hit reset my password. I've done that. This will send an email to whatever email you have registered when you create your um, Trailhead, play, um, Trailhead Playground account here. This account, what email is associated with that will be uh, receiving this email reset and then go ahead and reset your password. And this is your, what, your user name, okay? So that's the first step. And then we're gonna launch a Visual Studio Code and create a new project. So I'm gonna scroll back down here to the steps provided here. So we can go through this together. And so we, we want to create a new project. The second one, uh, we want to authorize our Trailhead Playground. And then we're gonna create the Lightning Web Component. And then we're gonna put the code that we have from above here, from here. And then we're gonna deploy that Lightning Web Component onto our Trailhead Playground. And then we are going to test it out, right? And then we're gonna talk about the line by line code. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna launch my Visual Studio Code now. Okay, so Visual Studio Code is open. I'm going to go to View and then open Command Palette here. And we are going to create the SFDX Create Project. And I'm going to choose standard there. Project name would be working with data in LWC. And I'm going to just put this on my zone um, new folder. You can put this on your own folder, wherever you want that to be. I'm gonna hit create and create project. Okay, so we have a new project working with data in LWC. Next, we are going to authorize our Trailhead Playground. So back to the command palette again, view, command palette there. I'm going to say authorize um, an org. Okay. I'm going to go production, 
it takes a while, it's a bit slow my visual code there. So enter an, all, um, an alias or I'm gonna say, this is um, just an alias, I'm gonna see LWC data. This is my alias for this org. Um, actually it gives um, on the trailhead, I'm gonna copy that. Oh, I lost my, I'm gonna repeat that, um, production. So this is the alias from the trailhead uh, playground. I'm gonna enter that. It's gonna pop up my, on my browser there. And I am going to get my user from here this one i'm gonna copy that i'm gonna paste that and my password and hit login allow and we're good to go now on here it's gonna say show now we are logged in Okay, moving on. I'm gonna click force app here. And then we have LWC, which is Lightning Web Component. Click on there, and we are going to create a new component. I'm gonna right click there, and wait. Oh yeah, create Lightning Web Component there. Okay, SFTX, I'm gonna create. And the name is account creator. Boom, default folder, there we have it. So now we have the account creator HTML and account creator .js and account creator .js dash meta .xml. Now we're gonna populate with um, the code we have from here. I'm gonna bring this again over here. So let's go up we have account creator from here on the way up i think um, here account creator.html so i'm going to copy this account creator.html copy that and i'm going to paste this boom and then i'm going to grab the js this one i'm going to copy that and go to the JS here. Boom. And then I'm going to go to the XML, which is this one. Um, all the way down again here. The XML. Right. Um, this is. Yeah. This one, but I want to change the API version because we are way up than 48 now. We are for 52 here, right? So, or maybe I'll just leave it. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it as is. Don't don't change it because it might not be um, set up for the 52. So that uh, three is done. So I'm gonna save those three. You see the dots um, are are not dots anymore once you save it. Just um, command S or control S if you're on Windows. Write that. So, and then I'm gonna right click on here and deploy to um, org. Deploy source to org over there, okay? So I'm gonna deploy this. It's gonna deploy it here. And There we go, deploy source to org, it's done. So once you're done, you can go to your um, playground. Here you can go to um, Lightning App Builder. And we're gonna create a new component, um, a new Lightning page actually. So we're gonna use the Lightning App Builder and we're gonna drag our new component and name it 
working with data. So I'm gonna copy that. Okay, go back to your playground, go to set up here. And then lighting up builder. I uh, will make a new one. There's an app page. This is the name working with data. Header and left sidebar, right? Let's double check. What do they want? Yeah, header and left sidebar. And we want to drag the account creator onto the sidebar. Finish. And then we can drag the account creator. Woohoo! Our new component there to the left sidebar. So this guy here. There. That's done. Let's take a look what needs to be done after that. Save the page, activate the page, and then we can try it out. Okay. Go back here, I'm gonna save and activate. Um, yes, activate. And same thing, I'm working with data and I'm gonna keep everything as is and save this and finish. Add to navigation menu and I think we're done here. So I'm gonna save again, I'm gonna go back here. Now, let's launch that. Working with data, boom. There we go. Um, soon. Ooh, what happened there? My emojis are coming up. Soon, one point five billion. One thousand five hundred million. That's my revenue. Um, what do we have here? Technology? Yeah. And save. Woohoo! Bada bing, bada boom. So follow that along. On the next video, we are going to discuss the line by line code. And then we're going to do the challenge afterwards. All right? Bada bing, bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.